one. Hi, this is Ryan from Rod Design. Today we're going to be looking at the um, the white traverse rod and how to restring it. Um, if you haven't done so um, before attempting, make sure the cord is free of all of its attachments and that all the sliders are removed from both sides of the rod. To review, removing a slider uh, on the traverse rod, you just flip open the gate, slide it down, and it comes right out. And put that over there. Okay, so right now you can see um, the rod is working well. And we're gonna go ahead and loosen the knot. So there should always be a knot behind the, ma the right master carrier. Right there. Open these gates. Good. This is, so this is where you'd want to be. You remove your two master carriers and you have your two rod segments here with the gates open. This, this, this long cord, um, especially for the longer rods, is going to have two ends. The first end, you're going to work between the two wheels on the, on the right hand side pulley. So you're going to go right in here, grab it with two wheels. On the right master carrier, this cord is going to go through the, the, the left tab. That part's done. Take the other side. <clears throat> Make sure your, your cord is nice and loose. You don't want to have any knots. We're going back to the, to the pulley once again. We're going to try to go in over the top wheel. And this can be a bit difficult. Get it, you can see it coming through here. Grab it. And gently hold it. And this is where it gets tricky because on this rod you have to be really careful to keep the cords inside around the nylon feelers. So we're gonna go ahead and pull a good amount so that we can do what we need to do. Okay. Then gently install the left master. And the cords need to stay down, because, yeah. And then I'm gonna go back over to here. Oh, after you do that, close the gate. When you come over here, you're going to go between the top wheel and the middle and the, the lower wheel. So this can be kind of tricky as well. Get it through. Push it in.
Oh, okay, so we're just gently feeding it through and we're gonna have the two ends come together here as a knot. And pull, pull a little bit to get the slack reduced so that you can gently slide the two parts back together. Make sure your strings are behind the plastics. don't have to have this much string but it's good to have a little bit extra in case you make a mistake you have to go back you don't want to have too little of a knot And that should be pretty much all you need right there. Um, once they're fully closed, and they're meeting in the middle, you could pull this down and I think it will lock the master so you won't have any um, play. But that should do. Thanks for watching.